I I will try to use the skills you want the speakers to use and uh, about which you told in your speech. First thing I would like to say that a really skillful person can afford being modest. Zoya wrote me that she had doubt whether she needed to perform because her evaluator didn't come and she thought we didn't have the camera, though we have the camera. But I insisted that she perform and tell me, did you enjoy this speech? Certainly, we enjoyed this speech and this speech was very useful for all of us. This speech was a TV training. But unfortunately we don't have equipment for real TV training to be shown on TV. But anyway, this was a live presentation and a live presentation I believe is even better because we had real live communication with the audience, which is very good because a simple lecture, when a lecture is just speaking, is a little bit boring. But when you involve the audience in your lecture, when you ask questions to the audience and make the audience, like, make their own conclusions about what you are going to say, this is very good and this is increases the effectiveness of the speech. The structure of Zoya's speech was very good. At first there was an introduction about the importance of body language and uh, what was uh, very effective that she told us what the speech will be about. For us to know what we will listen to and uh, to perceive the information better. Then there was a body where Zoe explained all the aspects of body language and even more and uh, a very good conclusion with the advertising of uh, your future training, which I hope will really happen. What was also good uh, is were actually illustrations. For example, pay attention please. When Zoya told the first part of her speech, she was standing like this. But when she started, uh, when, when she started the uh, information about movement, she started really to move. So, she illustrated what she was talking about. Besides, Zoya illustrated all the gestures. When she told us about the shoulders, she illustrated and about the head. So she showed everything with her own body. What I also like is that you improved your crash sounds. You didn't produce as far as I noticed any crash sounds, which is great. You are still improving because there is always a room for improvement. Just a couple of things which I would like you to improve. First of all, you should bring an evaluation sheet if you are a speaker. Because it's good that I know this project, I did it myself, but another evaluator would have experienced hard times with this speech. And the second, since it is a training, it would have been good if you made some exercises for the audience to do. For example, you could uh, ask the audience to show some body language, to practice some body language, or you could offer at least one simple exercise, because this was only a lecture, which is also good, and uh, we, which is an integral part of any training, but a real training is with practice. And uh, finally, as a conclusion of my evaluation, just one addition to what you said, why are opera singers so fat? Because when they start singing, there should be a certain mass for the sound not to throw them back. <laughs> if the singer is too thin, uh, by the power of their voice they will be thrown back. So that's why the singers are fat. And this enables some of them to use good body language. So good speakers are as good singers. They impress their audience with their performance, just like Zoe did today. And we're waiting to your further projects. Thank you.